If we want to save our planet, we will have to commit more and more to a mix of renewable energy sources. Here in Scotland, people are putting lots of efforts to develop devices that harvest the energy from the tides. They are called tidal turbines. These incredible devices are placed at the bottom of the sea and use water currents to spin their blades and generate electricity. Thanks to the regularity of the tides, tidal turbines will constitute a reliable and predictable source of power for our future needs. Isn't that amazing? But there's a catch. This technology is not ready yet. Tidal turbines are still too expensive to be deployed on such a large scale like their siblings, the wind turbines. Currently, we design turbines to operate for 20 years, but predictions estimated an average tidal turbine life of two years. That's a tenth of their expected lifespan. This happens because of the harshness of the marine environment, where waves and currents generate ever-changing flow conditions that cause great vibrations on the turbine's blades. These blades eventually break, decreasing the life of the device and causing the need for expensive maintenance operations. The question is, how can we make those blades survive for 20 years? Well, in my PhD project, I'm studying a particular design called morphing blades. The idea is that part of the blade is flexible, such that when the flow conditions change, the blade can bend accordingly, much like a fish when it's flopping its tail in order to swim. To test the morphing blade design, I develop a computer code that mimics an operating turbine. Preliminary results are actually very promising. I showed that compared to conventional blades, the morphing design can reduce up to 97% the vibrations on the blades. This means that morphing blades will generate the electricity that we need, but they won't break. So what if we equip all of our tidal turbines with morphing blades? Well, those turbines will last longer, they will cost less, and they will push forward our quest for a greener Scotland and a greener planet.